Apparently we just missed shift change. A lot of little duckies just got on the bus. I know, whenever I see the bus, I'm like... <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm okay. Down here. Okay. Um, what kind of interaction? I just like. Yeah, I can. I'm having a hard time getting here before 6:30. Yeah, but they were open. Yeah. Um, we have a lot more dogs up here. Dogs. There are no dogs down here. Oh yeah. Raven, Carrie, mm hmm Oh okay. Well, hi back to her if you see her again. We just missed the, a ton of people getting on that bus. I hadn't started yet, you guys. Wait, you're, you're filming, right? Yes. Oh. Yeah, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Definite Trouble Source, a.k.a. Erica, with her sign tech and her t-shirt tech. Saturday night, I have people getting out of their cars for pictures of me. Nice. Yeah. Are you here every night? Yeah, yeah. Um, Good evening, I'm ladies. Oh, tomorrow night would be a great but place to. Right, right, right. Oh, here come a couple of track suitors. Track suit tech. All right. Well, it's good to see you. I'm going to go walk some rounds. Yeah, I might, uh, do the okay. See you guys. <laughs> Did you guys have a good run tonight? Fantastic. Take care. Hey, got a, got a nod from uh, Mr. Running Around the Pole, dude. Safe journeys, happy space travelers. So I, I jumped out, was in such a hurry to try to get going before they all squirreled away. I uh, didn't get, even get a chance really to say hello to everybody. So, hello everybody. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Streets was just being recruited by a new cult recruit outside the LA test center. They are wearing regular, so, uh, you, when you say a new cult recruit, you're talking about Scientology, right? It's not a new cult trying to recruit streets. Yeah. So they've reopened their test center then. Hey, Sandy. Jazzy. Hey, witness. Oh, I couldn't believe you guys were super close to 3,100 and we just got 3,000. Friday night. Hey, Brian, everybody's favorite poet. Our singing SP queen. I love it, Amanda. Vote Mark Bunker 2024, and I guess it's tomorrow night, according to what Erica was just saying. Yeah, we have to give the website tonight because she wasn't wearing her QR code, eh? <laughs> okay well see i really wish i really wish that we had a test center because that's really more the kind of stuff i would like to be doing uh meanwhile shout out to peace memorial presbyterian church for refusing to sell their property to the cult of scientology and uh i guess uh Guess I missed the uh, the Mario pipe organ concert. Dad gummit. I wasn't gonna come anyway, but that means that's soon gonna be coming off the sign. And who doesn't love a good Mario pipe organ concert, huh? It seems so strange to be here when it's not. Oh, the bells! Hark the bells! Hark the bells of Christmas. You hear it? Can y'all hear it? Okay, well, it's over. I hope you heard a little bit of it. Hark the bells of Christmas. Anyway, I would love 
to have a test center to just go stand in front. You know, I could si I set up like a tripod and hold a sign and see where, anyway, what I was saying, it's so weird for the sun still to be so high. It takes me forever to get used to these time changes. Oh, safe travels, happy space travelers. Are we going to the coachman? No, not going to the coachman unless you're going the back way. Nope, coachman is safe. All right then. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm gonna go stand in front of the Fort Harrison because I betcha this lady's about to walk her child right into there. Hello, have a good run. I mean, you paid enough for that. Safe journeys, happy space travelers. I see you holding your phone in front of your face to try to hide, but I've already got you on film, ma'am. Children cannot consent. Hope you're not taking her in there because she's too precious to be dragged into a cult. Children cannot consent, ma'am. Children cannot consent. No more children in Scientology. Okay, we're starting with Feisty Lori tonight, it looks like. First thing I see just about is a lady walking her child into the Fort Harrison. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, you know what? I feel like, I feel like a song. I feel like a song. Little baby Davy and his fake space Navy. 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 Little baby Davy. Fake space Navy. Little baby Davy and his fake space Navy. Little baby Davy and his fake space Navy. L. Ron Hubbard was a fraud. L. Ron Hubbard was kicked out of the Navy. L. Ron Hubbard's medals are fake. No more children in Scientology. I don't have the pipes tonight to go too loud. I'm already starting to lose my voice. <sighs> oh, there's the black wrap Tesla. Oh, why are you doing a U-turn? Are you afraid to come this way, my friend? Come on now, we're a friendly bunch. Okay, so this is my idea, you guys, and it's crazy. It is literally crazy, but oh man. If we could do it, it would be amazing. So I've got to go to the police department. Or first, I'll start with their ordinances um, and see if there's any ordinance about it. Uh, I looked up for um, um, sidewalk chalk, and they've got an ordinance that prohibits um, painting, writing on, blah, 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 sidewalks. Now, the thing is, writing on, are you talking about something permanent or something that's going to wash away with the next rain? Um, because writing on, to me, indicates something permanent. And so I do need some clarification on that. But if you look at this, this is a main entrance, right? Most of this circle... I know at least up until the bottom of the um, glacier, AKA volcano, uh, it's public property. And I believe it's about halfway up the volcano. I'm not certain on that, but I know at least the bottom is public property. Now, what I envision, ladies and gentlemen, 
family and friends is a circle of friends sitting in lawn chairs right around this area that's public property. And possibly even with a very small portable fire pit in the middle. And you know what else I envision? Roasting hot dogs. Grab your weenies, come to Clearwater. I'll supply the buns. Bring your lawn chair. A gathering of family and friends. Just having a simple little weenie roast. That's what I envision. What say you, family and friends? What say you? All right, which side do we go down? Uh, imagine what a scene that would be. Yes! We can sing campfire songs. We can sing Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. And we could sing, Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord. By and by. Of course, we'll have to rewrite that for Xenu. Let's see. Um, will the circle be unbroken? Um, um, I'm thinking it's not dead air. It's just the sound of my crackly old brain. Ah, oh, hell no. Ah, oh, hell no. Will the circle be unbroken? Not till Zenu calls you home. Oh, I see a bunch of happy little people walking down the back side. They probably saw me standing here. They're gonna go in the... Oh, let's see if I can walk fast enough to catch up. What say you, my family and friends? Would you like to see or come to a wee roast at the entrance to Flag? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm thinking they're probably gonna tell me no on the portable fire pit. Maybe not, we'll see. Um, but I don't see how they could necessarily say no to the lawn chairs, as long as we're not blocking ingress and egress and there's plenty of room and plus hardly anybody goes in there anyway pardon my bouncy voice but i'm walking at a pretty good clip right now i don't think of no they're already around the other side they may have even let them in the back here just to avoid me oh what time is our front oh i think it's I think it's already time that she's probably come and, and gone on in. Darn it. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that grabs people's arms and say, Oh, not this way. Not this way. Bright light, bright light. Get some sunset action though. Oh, it feels nice though. It's a little, the last couple of days have been really cool. Like topping out at like 74, 75. So before I leave, it's gonna be down into the 60s and our days have been pretty warm lately. So it feels nice. It feels nice to get the blood pumping through the veins, circulating all over the body. And that little bit of cool Christmas in the air. And the people pulling up behind me they haven't seen a camera yet. So we could do it like this and see what happens. Meanwhile, you know, it's just me talking with my friends. And uh, 
Yeah, I can tell that there's at least a driver and a front seat passenger. And I'm wondering if they're waiting to pick someone up or if they're waiting for me to leave. Not they are talking, not filming. It's good that you can, you can see that better than I can. What an awesome mod. Yeah, they just pulled up as I was, that's why I stopped walking because I heard a car pulling up. That's why I switched to this view. So you guys could see what I can't. I didn't want to just turn around and put a camera in their faces unnecessarily. I will if it comes to it. Let's see. I think that says Sherry. Another contained outdoor heating or cooking devices allowed pursuant to... Oh, let me screenshot that. Thank you, my little sleuth. It's good to have people here who know how to... Uh, now, is this Clearwater specifically? I need Clearwater specifically. I'm pretty confident uh, with the Florida State statutes as I used to inform them. I mean, enforce them. <laughs> well, the laws can change and one must keep up if one's going to uh, consider themselves something... Um, someone in the learned area of a field. Um, she has a camera in passenger seat. All right, is she aiming it at me? Florida state law, okay, yeah. I have to look up specifically uh, Clearwater ordinances. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, was it day before yesterday or was it just yesterday? Maybe it's been yesterday, I can't remember. Um, I, it's, 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 well, it's not really a sunset yet. It's still, it's still probably a good 30 minutes at least till sunset. And there's really, here, I'll flip it around for a minute so you can see what it looks like. There's really nothing worthy of picture taking. I mean, it's not hideous. It's a start, but it's, it's, uh, really, it is more impressive in the, camera image than in real life although it is getting close to the tree level and pretty soon you won't be able to see that oh, nuts. anyway um, so a cop came out I think it was a call from Scientology to inform them that the I'm hearing doors and such so that's why I'm like kind of looking over to inform them that Scientology informed the cops of Chicago ordinance that said the protesters had to stay 50 feet away from them. Have a good night, sir. See, I was so polite. I didn't put the camera on him. Um, I'm luring them in. Uh, so anyway, I'm like, that would put people in the street. And that just does not sound right to me. In a moment, I'm just gonna flip the camera and then turn around because they're, they're spending a hot minute there. Um, so I, I looked it up and I found an ACLU. They are, okay, beautiful, well, let's film them back. Hang on. An ACLU article. Um, no, I don't see a camera. Oh, well, yeah, he's got one in the driver's seat. Um, and uh, ACLU um, flyer that said in 2005, uh, he has a camera up. I mean, it's, it's a photo app or camera. Um, in 2005, there was a judge that was reviewing the ordinance for possible uh, illegalities. And I couldn't find anything that gave a result of that but that gave the actual ordinance number so I searched that on uh, Chicago's ordinance site good evening sir heading in for course have a good night sir you feel okay babe? okay um, yeah all they did was pull up and do their thing now they're leaving so anyway um, after that, 
I, I Google, I searched, uh, I went to Clearwater, Clearwater, yeah, one single-minded here. I went to uh, Chicago's ordinance page and looked up that specific ordinance number and found that, lo and behold, it was repealed. So I gave that information to Freezinu, who then fed it to law enforcement, who then admitted at the time that, yes, they... He was incorrect on, on the information he was given about the 50 feet that no longer existed. So at least those that were left in Chicago, the locals, who will be um, going out more frequently, because Freezino is like an hour and a half away, um, they are armed with that information. And it's what I, you know, was talking with Natalie about. Um, was that this morning? Jeez, I lose track of time. That Scientology just does not keep up. They don't change their tactics. They don't update things. They just don't keep up. Anyway. Yeah, once I uh, turn things around on them, they just, uh, hello, Dark Creeper. They um, put the windows up and head on out. Thanks, Witness. A dude that I asked if he was all right, um, looked like he was about to pass out and he had to head up, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 11 steps to get inside. And he already looked like he was about to pass out. Superpowers aren't doing so well for him and I sure hope they don't try to make him do the Purif or the uh, pole running program. I can never remember the name of it. Resurgence, power resurgence, resurgence, course resurgence. I think it's something like that. can't remember. Oh, he's worked before. They can't be wrong. Yeah, you're right. When I say you're right, you're right on your take on them. Oh, thanks, Carrie. I'm sure he wishes he were a bit closer because I think now he's got the bug as well and would like to keep heading in. I wonder if this youngster's heading in. She's, I think she's an adult, but she's just very young. How's it going? How's it going? You doing all right? Um? 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 <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know that language, but have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> that was interesting. Um? I'm hearing music, but it's likely from a vehicle. She didn't go any doors. I don't know, but she's uh, she might be going to the fort. She's um, obviously not American, and we know how they like to uh, get their hands into the internationals, don't we? Yeah, that's coming from. I think it's coming from that SUV. Actually, no, it's coming. Oh, I think it's coming from that jacked-up truck. And he doesn't have a lowered bumper either. Yeah. Um, that's a view. I, I hated doing traffic when I was in law enforcement. But that's a vehicle that I would have pulled over any day of the week, any time of day. Because if he slams into somebody or somebody slams into the back of him, they're likely going to be decapitated. Because there's no bumper to stop them. And they're just going to keep going until they, until they encounter something that's... Um, Hard, unfortunately. See, so this is another little alcove just to put a semicircle of uh, lawn chairs. So she's still walking. She didn't go into the fort. She's uh, right there, almost to the entrance. And I feel like if she were going inside, she'd have dipped by now.
I wish I knew who that was that uh, that waved and yelled before I came down here. Well, now she's crossing the street, but that would be silly to go down there, cross, and then cut back to the fort's doors. I've seen that tag before. American Legion. Florida has so many tags that you just can't recognize them all. Another international family, I guess. I think that that silky black wrap looks really good. I think that's a sharp looking. Yeah, she's going to the fort. Don't give him your credit card, hon. Keep your money locked up, darling. Don't let him have your passport. Keep your passport safe. Looking out for you, baby girl. Yeah, it'd be an awesome place for a picnic. Yo, Dave, you wanna come down for a weenie roast? I'll bring the fire, little fire pit. I'll bring some weenies and some hot dog buns. We can have a little wiener roast. You get me, Dave? We can have a little wiener roast. Yeah, that. You got me, Dave. Roast some little wieners. Gonna wa roast some little wieners out here. Oh, what I miss from Shelly. <clears throat> A Scientologist protester just busted Scientologist recruiters dressed up normal walking in LA trying to give people Scientology pamphlets. Well, for a while before they closed down, they started um, wearing civvies, or they did for a time at least wore civvies instead of their little tight vests and tight pants and tight skirts. Now you reckon we're going tight just because they think it's a it's a look? They want that look? Or can they just not provide actually well-fitted clothes to their Sea Org members after having signed a billion-year contract? Forgot my body cam tonight, y'all. All I have is me and my phone. Dad gummit. And I'd switched out clips because it really does mess up my t-shirt collar. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a big sideways clip, and I'm just gonna clip it right here, and it'll hook onto my brazier strap. And that will give it more security than just, you know, hanging it on my t-shirt. I uh, was afraid to put it on my like waistband or something because I didn't feel like I could keep uh, track as well there. Lots of vantages back here. I wonder if the two at the garage are still there as well. Little baby Davy and his fake space navy. Blinked out again. Suspicious weather with suspicious minds. And we can't build our dreams on suspicious lies. It's just an old cult I know, trying to help them blow. But they are trying to jam my signal. Boom, 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 boom. Why can't you see? And that they're screwing with thee 
It's just a cult, they'll never win you really. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, it's starting to get pretty. It's starting to get pretty. Try to focus. Okay, I'm not seeing any chat. Am I literally back or am I not back? Because my internet did literally stop there for a minute. Reaper, I've been fine. I'll have to catch up on LA when I get when I get done. Okay, beautiful. Seems to be that uh, every time that's ever happened to me, it's been along the back side of the building. Because they don't want to share their superpowers. Dang, I'm hungry. Oh, here comes the child predator. Oh no, it's a different vehicle. I take it back. I take it back, internet world. It's not the um it's not the one I thought it was. Don't let him have your money, bud. And don't sign a billion year contract. You'll regret it. But have a good night otherwise, friend. ITD. Man, all of a sudden I'm hungry. Birds are going nuts. Can y'all hear all the chatter? There's one up here that's talking to one over here. They're loud. Uh-oh. Water bottle. Somebody's in there running around a pool with that hydration. Can we get can we get hydration taken up to the pool, please? Somebody's missing their hydration and they need it. It's a blender bottle, people. Somebody left a blender bottle out here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Somebody left a blender bottle out here and they really need it, especially if they're running around a pool. They may have your weird uh, vitamin combination or something in there. Come on, let's come get the pole. Come get the uh, come get the blender bottle. They need it. They really, really need it, sir. They need their vitamins. Hi, little birdie. Oh, hi. I see you fluttering. Where? Oh, oh. I just saw you. I see you. Oh, I see you, little birdie bird. See, oh, see the tail? Oh, see the little birdie bird. Pole, they run around a pole, but I'm Southern, so it may sound like pool, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Southern that's just, Southerner that's just got a little teeny hint of the Southern draw because I live in a state that's really no longer Southern, although, I have deep southern roots in this state, so I, I was saying pole, but I guess it may have sounded like pool. Does it sound like I'm saying the same word? My mom, uh, my dad sounded, my dad's family was more cracker than my mom's. Well, they were just poor, really. Uh, my mom's family had some money, but my mom, for, for a Floridian girl, had a pretty, pretty Southern accent. And she was so tiny, she's like a little Southern Belle girl. Now, my sister-in-law, who was born in Alabama, but raised, spent like, just about her whole life. Just in case anybody comes across Watts Mobile Home Sales, Scientologist, just putting it, put, put it out there for the universe to deal with as they see fit. Anyway, um, she's got a crazy Southern accent. She was, she used to work for Southern Bell, the telephone company. And uh, I think Verizon, did Verizon buy them out? Or did at and I don't even remember, but somebody bought them out. She was talking about going to a work conference in somewhere like i don't know minnesota or michigan or somewhere and 
the, the guy who was teaching was asking some questions and she'd raise her hand and answer. And after a while, she realized she was the only one answering any questions. So she, uh, you guys headed for the beach? Going to the beach? Coming back from the beach. All right, did you have fun out there? It's a beautiful beach. All right, take care. I hope I didn't show them. I was trying to not show them because, you know, they were in beachwear. Um, but anyway, after a while she said, why am I the only one answering any of these questions? And it was mostly men. And they all said, well, we just enjoy hearing you talk and we just want to keep you talking because her Southern accent was so adorable. Anyway, all that just because somebody said, are you saying pole or pool? The azaleas are blooming. They're kind of sprigly, but they're blooming nonetheless. Um, excuse me, can we get uh, can we get somebody uh, somebody out here to deal with these this landscaping? This is unacceptable. This is one hundred percent unacceptable, people. We've got to do better than this. We've got to do better. And does that really mean something? Or did somebody step on your line and keep walking? Completely unacceptable. I like the, the little tiny flowers amongst all the green. 100% flunk, redo, flunk, redo. Those people silhouettes or item silhouettes. I think that's item silhouettes, but it might be person sitting down. Oh, that's a hundred percent person. I see you moving, darling. I see you moving, darling. It's all right. You're safe. Well, safe as you can be when you're in a cult. Hi. Oh, they're waving. Hi. Hi, happy space traveler. Hi, darling. You want to blow? You want to come on out? I'll, I'll get you to safety. I promise. We'll help you get set up. You can have a real life. You can have be fulfilled. You can have a fulfilling life outside of cult thought. Nobody to tell you how to think. Nobody to tell you what to do. Your life should be your own choice. This is America. And you are free to make choices for your own life. How you doing? How you doing? Slavery was abolished a long time ago. You do not have to work 120 hours for $40, $47 in pay. Heck, you can work at McDonald's flipping burgers and take home a thousand bucks a month for flipping burgers. Because this is America, darling. People are free to think what they want and to say what they want and to do what they want within the letter of the law. But my point is, you don't have to do what Davy tells you to do. You can come out. There are people who will help you. There will people who will find you lodging, find you a job, even get you out to get a driver's license. All you have to do is come out to me and I will get you to freedom. I will get you to safety right now. Let's go, come on, let's go. Who wants to be free? Who wants freedom? You don't have to fight in a Scottish revolution for freedom. It's right here outside your doors. Everybody that walks this building every night is only here to help you. How would it feel to sleep eight hours every single night? You can do that out here. Because no one expects you to work like a robot.
And you could have kept that money you paid to run around the pole and put it to good use. If you didn't need the money, you could give it to a charity that would put it to good use. Like giving freedom to these Sea Org members who are working like slaves. Do you realize they signed a billion year contract to help facilitate you paying them to run around a pole? They work 120 hours a week for $47 in pay. Does that sound fair? Does that sound like a religion to you, sir? I didn't think so. Because it's not. I hate to be the one to break the news. Actually, I don't hate to be the one to break the news. I'm quite proud of it. Let them sleep at night. 120 hours a week for $47? They're slaves. Give them freedom. Hello, ma'am. How are you tonight? Fantastic. Do you need any help getting anywhere? Are you good? Beautiful. Have a, have a wonderful evening, ma'am. See, she heard all that, and she still wasn't afraid to explain, uh, exchange pleasantries. There's hope. Every time that happens, I have hope. The sun is dropped behind the trees. We can see it no longer. Kind of a pretty sight, don't you think? Looks better on my camera than it does in person. It looks much more yellow and gold on my phone screen than it does in real life. All right, let's catch up and see what uh, my friends have been talking about. Holy crow, there's 147 people in here. What the heck is going on? Hey, did we, uh, have we passed 3,100 by chance? Scientist has a pool? There's no running around the pool allowed. No, you'll slip and break your neck. Can't even say how many times I was told to stop running around the pool. You'll slip and break your neck. Oh gosh, I cannot stand to run at the beach. I hate running in sand. I don't even particularly like walking in sand. It's not easy on the legs. I mean, maybe a casual stroll is nice, but uh, not an exercise kind of walk. All right, let's give you something to look at while I go back and check this. Check the chat. 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 The chat. That's a tongue twister. Literally said robot after robot noises. <sighs> Yes, ladies get uh, $20 an hour at McDonald's. Well, California, yeah, because it's uh, percentage-wise, it's just that much more expensive to live in California. Whew, thanks for being here, witness. Appreciate you. Pizza's here, too. Hey, pizza, now I'm craving. Oh, maybe I should go down to, before I leave, maybe I should get something from Downtown Pizza to take home. Laura FM is in my chat. Shut the front door of Flag Super Power Building. Laura? I'm sorry, Laura. Let's see, that's hard when your name is Laurie. Because I'm an A-Vowel, A-W, and Laura is an a bright A-H vowel sound. Ah, Laura, thank you for coming into my chat, darling. I want to collab with Laura so bad. Pizza's just home from work. 3.1? Nice. I know, and Elizabeth, when I told her that I wanted to, oh, we gotta walk back over to the entrance. 
when I told her that I was going to check with the cops and see if we would be breaking any ordinance if we sat around like in a circle um, in the public property section of the entrance, which is quite significant, mind you, um, with lawn chairs. That, that was my first notion. Um, all right, I'm heading over there right now. Um, and then I thought, how cool will it be, if it's legal, of course, to have a, like a little tiny, like portable <laughs> outdoor fire pit and um, we could roast wieners. I have a little weenie roast out here right at the entrance of Flag. And she said, oh, if you do that, let me know because that's a game changer. We'll be coming to Clearwater before anything else. All right, so for those that don't know, Scientology would have you think that all of that is their property. Nay, nay, nay. I know that it goes up into the volcano. I don't know how far but I know at least up to the bottom of the volcano is public property. Yes, they did all of this, but that was their choice to do that on public property. So, oh, safe journeys, happy space travelers. Safe journeys, a hey, Zenu called and said you could have the rest of the night off. Said, go get yourself a coffee. Head up to Starbucks and get yourself a Frappuccino. You deserve it. Safe travels, happy space travelers. Anyway, can you imagine all the, like a ton of like First Amendment auditors sitting up in here in lawn chairs? Where are you going, darling? It's okay. Yeah, come on out, it's all right. Especially if we could roast the little wieners. Dave, we're gonna have a little weenie roast down here, buddy. Are you excited to have your little wiener roasted? Okay, that's what I want to do so bad. Guard your wallet, ma'am. Don't give him your credit cards or cash. Don't give him your passport, please. And if we do that, I hope you come to Clearwater, honey. Uh, I don't think so, Pizza. Um, they have an ordinance. I, I, this is something else I have to talk to the cops about. Uh, exactly what they enforce. Kimby, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Yes! See, Laura and I could work up something and we could stand right up here in their circle and blast it out. Laura is a sweetheart and I love how she has she takes care of the people out there she takes care of a uh, doa she takes care of well anybody that is out there. okay i'm trying to scroll this thing back down and then it wants me to either ban somebody or make them a moderator <sighs> anyway um it's laura not laura because i'm laurie she's Laura, it's almost kind of like our own little personal tongue twister, isn't it? Maybe that's why some people go, um, Laura, Laura, if you're still here, darling, I know some people call you Lara, like Larry. How do you actually pronounce your name? Does she actually pronounce it like Lara herself? I know she said that's okay if people call her that. She just doesn't want people calling her Laura. Laura. See, Laura, like an A-H, is how I do it. But I want to do it how she wants it. Yes, please, if you're not subbed at Laura slash Lara FM's channel, please do so. R, well, I, R like a pirate. So you're saying R-A-H-R. -R. See, that's, that's the way I say it most of the time. But sometimes I do kind of slip a little bit. And uh, it's because, oh, be careful, friends. Don't give them your money. They've, they've got enough of your money already, I, I'm guessing. 
Well, you know what? They, they wouldn't take my money if I tried. I tried to go buy a book and they closed the door in my face. So there's that. I tried to give them some money, but uh, they just buy another piece of property and, and keep their Sea Org members working 120 hours a week for $47. Sir, is that fair? Jerk. Sorry, but it's true. See, I was trying to be polite to him. Aussie say Lara like Lark. Little baby Davy and his fake space Navy. Little baby Davy and his fake space. Oh, hang on, I got something for you. Oh, I need a spot. Here we go. Oh, here, we'll just put it down right here. Right there on the volcano. Are you ready for this? Okay. Sorry to scare you, though. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. <laughs> okay, so Elizabeth thinks is Lara like Tara. See, that makes a little bit more sense to me because I grew up watching Gone with the Wind at my house. So I know Tara. So Lara kind of bothered me a little bit. I couldn't grasp it because it, it just made me think of Larry. But like Tara makes a lot more sense to me. Have a good evening, sir. P please protect your wallet. I said, please protect your wallet. They, they want your money. So I'm just trying to look out. I mean, if you're good with that, then that's, you know, beautiful. If that makes you happy, I'm, I'm happy for you, sir. Just be safe and have a wonderful evening, sir. Because we're all about peace and love and happiness. <laughs> I guess that's kind of become my shtick, hasn't it? The waving at the happy space travelers. Oh, thank you. It took me forever to find this 100th anniversary t-shirt because they ran out like five minutes after they started the 100th anniversary celebration. Oh, black water. Oh, clear water. Keep on trolling. Oh, Tim, that's a good one. I have to work on that one. Oh, clear water. Keep on trolling. Zenu dropped the. Zenu dropped the. Okay, Zenu. Zenu flew his buddies in and no Zenu dropped the Zenu Zenu dropped the Phaetons and he blew up volcanoes. Oh black, oh clear water. <laughs> I have to write it out. My brain won't remember it if I don't write it out. Oh clear water, keep on trolling. Uh, Zenu, come and get you. Uh, fly you off a TGAC. I don't know. I have to work on that. If you if you got the rest of it, lay it on me, and I'll I'll put it down, Mr. Timothy. Mini ta Oh no, actually, it's um. Okay, so I have I have a a trifecta of my top fandoms. Um, it's uh, uh, I'm a Potterhead. Hoovian and Twihard. And my big tattoo is, they're coming for me. Oh, they didn't like the dancing. They didn't like the dancing. Oh, can you see it? No, that won't work. Hang on, I'll get it for you. There we go. Oh, it's awkward. It's the front cover of the Twilight novel. 
It's the apple in the hands. Whoo, that was like, I feel like a contortionist now. Again, one more shout out to Peace Memorial Presbyterian Church for refusing to sell their property to the cult of Scientology. Thank you, Peace Memorial. Woo! Oh, look, get a little bit of the sunset. He pinked up quite nice. That's really, really very beautiful. So pretty. Anyway, um, I saw a lady, I think it was actually, hang on, let me wait for these loudmouth buses to go by. I think it was actually at City Walk, going to one of the Universal Studios parks. And I have, I might, I might, uh, yes, I might be able to find it on my real phone. Um, it was on the side of her lower leg. Let me go to my favorites. Hopefully it's in my favorites album. Um, and it was uh, Cinderella's castle with fireworks and everything. It was amazing. And I asked her, I said, where did you have that done? And she said, Oregon. Oh my, okay. Well, that's a wee bit of a road trip from, um, from Tampa, so that's uh, likely not going to happen. Um, let's see. It was kind of a long time ago. Oh, there's my baby. Look at my baby, y'all. Huh? It's Blue. Her name is Blue. Her name is actually Rhapsody in Blue. And, uh, let's see... Okay, that was when I was actually in Oregon, and this happened before I was in Oregon. I'm just hoping I have it saved in my favorites folder. Otherwise, I'd have to hunt it in amongst like 14. Oh, I found it! I found it! Y'all, look at this. It's so amazing. Look at that. I want that so bad. And that's a close up of the castle. Seriously, people, what's going on? Shout out to Clearwater Fire Department. Stay safe, boys and girls. Anyway, um, look at the detail of this. And uh, like the footing of the castle, it's like little upside down Mickey heads. I don't know if you could see it enough, but uh, I want to find somebody that can do that. I would 100% do that. It would probably be $500 bare minimum. But anyway, okay, I think it's time for... Oh, let me see if I can catch up with chat. Rose gold or gray, I think? That's interesting. Okay, so I have a cat named Gershwin. And my dog's name is Rhapsody in Blue. If you know that kind of music, Gershwin, George Gershwin wrote... Rhapsody in Blue. That's the piece it's got. The, it's a, actually, a, it features piano, but it opens with a clarinet doing this. My daughter's a clarinetist. So um, her name is Rhapsody in Blue, but I call her Blue. What would happen if DM passed away? Who would take over? Um, Chris, I have no idea. Pizza, you're going through Oregon this summer? Uh, my I took my daughter up there um, a couple of years ago for her college graduation trip. So we flew into Portland and then uh, rented a car and spent some time in Oregon around the Portland area. Uh, hiked Mount Hood and Multnomah Falls and Wakina Falls. And um, then we drove up to um, Seattle and we did we didn't have time to do both. We did the, I think it's the lower ape cave under Mount St. Helens. It's the shorter one. Unstoppable, hey! Hope you're still here. All right, I think I'm caught up. Um, yeah. And um, so we did uh, Mount St. Helens. Then we spent a day and a half uh, hiking on a uh, snowy Mount Rainier in July. It's time for a little Davies. Well, maybe in the next trip, the stars aren't out yet. All right, he can have a few more minutes of playtime before we sing him his lullaby. 
Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heartstrings. From the moment I saw you, I fell. Yeah, we likely wouldn't know out here, but you know what? A lot of our, a lot of our former members have, uh, have some people that are talking to them. So they might hear what's going on. I mean, how long did it take them? I don't know. What, what was, does anyone know offhand? I could Google it. What the transition was, because you know, uh, little Ronnie, little Ronnie intended for this place to go to uh, Ann, oh, is it Ann? Pat Roker and his wife, whatever her name was. And it ended up somehow in little Davy's hands. How'd that happen? Hostile takeover much? Hostile coup? Anyway, um, I don't know how long it took between the announcement of L. Ron Hubbard selectively dropping his body to head to Target 2 um, and it being announced that David Miscavige was in charge. I do, I'm sure I, I feel like I've heard it before what the time frame was, but I just honestly do not remember it. Same newbie tried to recruit. Oh, geez. Oh, I've got a lot to look at when I when I uh, finish up and head to the car, huh? I'm sorry. I mean, a lot of videos to listen to while I'm on my drive across the bay. Yes. Tipped his hat and took a seat. He went ding ding. All right, so January, tw oh, stop. January 24, 1986. And okay, so at least a full year. That's kind of a long time to, no to not know who's in leadership or who the, uh, the heralded supreme, supreme leader is. Uh-oh, that's never a good sign. Maybe they're going to the fire. If I see them coming, I don't have anybody to hand my phones off to. Um, yeah, Janice has so much of that old stuff, she, like pictures and videos and stuff. She's got a ton of, I'm glad she's out there sharing them. She's very sweet. I'm glad I got to meet her when she came to Clearwater. Oh, is it finally, is your shift finally over? Do you get to go? Oh, of course must be over. We're gonna get some peoples coming and going. What time is it? Wow, it's almost eight o'clock? I've already been going over an hour. See how time flies when you're having a good time? Hello ladies, have a safe night. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. They didn't see the camera till I walked past. Oh, I heard talking on the steps. Hello. Have a good evening. Oh, it's okay, ma'am. All right, we're all friendly here. We share the same planet. A 
That's odd. Won't focus. Yeah, she didn't expect me to come around the corner. That's why I was being quiet, because I heard talking. Okay, FedEx is sending me something. I wonder what I ordered. I don't think I ordered. Oh, I think it's a medication. Oh, I don't know if you could. I don't know if this will pick it up, but look, we got, uh, yeah, a little bit. We have just a little sliver of the moon in the sky. How cool is that? See, we're, we're just a friendly nature channel, y'all. Just a friendly nature channel. Nature, nature. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Come back and see us on the next time. There's a fellow who claims to be the reincarnated LRH, has followers also in and out of prison. Is that the guy that illegally changed his name to L. Ron Hubbard? Lafayette Ronald Hubbard, though? Target 2 sounds like, yeah. Like, remember when it was just Target and then they had the super targets? So now we have Target 2. It's like tar Target 2.0. They sell food at my Target, at least. Well, even the regular Targets have a, have some grocery. Not much, but the Super Targets, that's, that's my regular grocery store. Hello, ma'am. Have a great evening. Oh, Auntie, I'm sorry about that. Yes, the temperature is and weather is absolutely perfect right now. It's not... Uh, it's not humid. It's just cool enough that it feels nice. Um, but I can comfortably wear shorts and t-shirt, which is what I wear all the time anyway. I mean, when it was like, you know, 40 degrees, I would throw on a pair of sweatpants and a hoodie. A couple of times I actually came down with a coat. I didn't wear a coat except when I... Did I even have a coat when I was in... Up on Rainier, I think I just had my hoodie. Cause we packed light. Um, we just, we had like giant backpacks that we stuffed everything in. <laughs> and I, before we flew home, I, um, pay, I think it cost me like 85, $88, something like that. And we shipped home anything that we didn't have to have with us right then. Um, we shipped home all of our dirty clothes. Imagine how that box, smelled when it arrived like I don't know a week and a half later and I unboxed it <laughs> um any souvenirs that we bought that we didn't want to have to carry the reason being was I think I'm just gonna stick on this side for a while because this is where people seem to be coming and going for from courses um we are we flew on we flew spirit and they have layovers in las vegas and neither of us had ever been to las vegas so i told i told my daughter when i was planning the itinerary i said look we can that guy's already been in there once tonight he probably had to go out and get his wallet so he could pay their reg for another round of auditing or coursework um anyway uh I said, we can have an hour and a half layover in Vegas, or we can have a nine hour layover in Vegas and go play on the strip. Neither one of us had seen it before. I mean, of course, there's no time to like see a show or anything like that. Um, so that's what we did. And we Ubered over to the strip. It only took like 10 minutes to get from the airport to the strip. So everything that we had still, we were carrying on our back. So we wanted to get, uh, get rid of as much weight as we absolutely possibly could. So it was expensive as on get out, but I think it was money well spent because it would, I mean, my body's too broken to carry that kind of weight for nine hours on my back. Anyway, so I went to an ATM and I got out a hundred dollars. I gave my daughter 50 bucks and I kept 50 bucks. Seriously? Can we, can we not have fires tonight, y'all? 
Well, and did you see the helicopter go over? I'm like, uh oh. I said, I said if they come, I don't have anybody to hand my phone over to. <laughs> yeah, it would, but it was going that way, so it wasn't like circling over a <laughs> superpower building or anything. Anyway, um, I've actually had some interesting uh, exchanges tonight. So anyway, I'm finishing my Las Vegas story, and then we'll see what Eric has been up to. Um, uh, so I gave her 50 bucks and I took 50 bucks and she sat down and she was playing this machine that we had no idea the logic of the machine Just it would flash lights and she would push buttons. It wasn't a it wasn't a, uh, What's the what's the thing that you you know, you pull the thing, you know, it wasn't slot wasn't a slot machine It was just something you just push all these buttons. I think it was like the fat Buddha or something like that I don't know but anyway, so it kept saying oh three free games three free games. Oh you win this you win that that kid cashed out with, I think, 200, including the 50 bucks I gave her, $287 and some odd cents. <laughs> and I cashed out when I got back up to $47.50. So I only lost $2.50 and she went home with um, a nice little, little uh, purse, which, you know, it was her college graduation. So if anybody was going to win something. I'm glad it was her. Anyway, that's my Vegas story and I'm sticking to it. See, what happens in Vegas doesn't stay at Vegas. Not when it's me I'm because I run my mouth about everything. Um, I think it's the same truck that drove up here very, very slowly until I did like that. And then he drove on. I think he just went around the, the block. He may be waiting for somebody, but yeah. a lot of people have been coming and going. I guess their courses are starting and getting out. Um, so he may be just picking somebody up and didn't want to wait here. But um, I had a couple of, I had an exchange with a guy going into the front entrance and um, a couple of others. I don't really remember anything hugely significant. But uh, I'll try it the other way. Lara FM came in for a little bit. So I was super stoked to see her, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get clarification if it's just a bright ah uh, Lara or if it's Lara. Somebody said it's Lara like Tara. It almost sounds like Laura, but it's not Laura. Oh, she hates, she doesn't like Laura right. and she doesn't like Laura. Yeah. I mean, I get that because, you know, people will call me Lori or they'll, oh, they just ran in and I think there was a child. No children in Scientology. Kids cannot consent. That's it was a child I think it was but I didn't see oh, I know I know so they just snuck in fast though anyway um yeah I, I think it's, <sighs> it, there's a twist on the vowel yeah. Vowel, yeah yeah well I when I've heard her say it before I've heard her say it's Laura not Laura because I'm Laurie because I I'm a you but she's also said she's fine with it if you call her Lara. So that made me think that it's Laura, but she prefers Lara to Laura, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing a bit of a tongue twister a little bit. Uh, Next time I see her go live, I'm going to go in and ask her, please say the way you prefer your name to be pronounced so I can mimic that. It sounds trivial, but it's really important. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't want to, um, I, I feel like it's disrespectful if right. you know it's something else and you don't try to do it like they want it. Right. Right. I mean, my mom used to call me Laurie with that bright ah, uh, but it's not, it's spelled A-U, that's an aw. Uh. She's Southern, she was a little Southern lady, yeah, so I'm sure... Um, and then my, my dad's family, they were crackers and they, everybody uses their first and middle name, I guess. Like my, 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 my aunt, hey, Lori Sue is my middle name. Lori Sue? Lori Sue? Well, it's my, I was like fifth generation in a direct line of some sort of form of that name, um, in, in a direct line. So. I mean, of course, I had to pass it. I had to give it to my kid, too. Her middle name is Suzanne, but it's spelled like Susan. It's S-U-S-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Okay. Because to make it more like Susan. Yeah. So, honor my mama, my sweet mama. Yeah. Anyway. 
I know. And my my daughter is actually probably at my house right now. She and her daddy are flying to Boston. She's on spring break now. She's an elementary music teacher. And they're flying to Boston for a few days. I think she's staying at my house because she lives in, over here in Clearwater. And it's and he lives like less than two miles away from me. So um, so they'll she'll pick him up in the morning and they'll... They, I think it's like super early. And um, they fly out in the morning and then they come home, I think, really late Friday night. And she's staying the night at my house on Friday night. <laughs> I don't think she'll be back yet. <laughs> and I don't think she would want her face to be seen. Look, y'all, look, you can see the sliver a little bit better now. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Oh, look, you can, you can actually see the shape of the moon, the, like the silhouette. Silhouette. A moon silhouette. I tried, I tested a um, Samsung s24 ultra that's a big boy um it's like the iphone plus you know and it was too big to hold um yeah but it's i i uh got it right before i went to the billy joel sting concert at the stadium thinking i'm gonna get fantastic pictures and the zoom is amazing but the thing you don't realize is when you zoom in that far it's like super shaky it, it, the videos look like this just because you just, you, it's almost impossible to hold the phone absolutely perfectly still. And any movement looks like a severe jerk. Brian says, I call the moon when it looks like that, the, the Cheshire cat moon. Use the image in a poem once. That's cool, I can see it. Little Cheshire grin. Um, Scientology off the rails question. Laurie plays, is the LAPD, if the LAPD refused to take valid reports from those who get assaulted can citizens go to the attorney general of i am the one who 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 is oh is a nana boss's podcast that i did yesterday and suggested that very thing i said look any of you people who live in california i would say the first thing on your list okay let's get serious here serious convo the first thing on your list is what erica contact your attorney general the elected state attorney general right. there's only one of them your state has one not your you know district attorneys because they need to investigate lapd as soon as possible because somebody's going to get killed and they're elected so they, they care. are elected they care yes. um you might think that 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 might put maybe some money in their pocket would make them change things but they it's like more critical it's not like the whole brotherhood of the LAPD. Right. So, yes, absolutely. The answer to that question, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway. Yeah. Um, if anybody has any, uh, you know, relatives that are FBI agents, um, have a convo. I, I learned that profit was in the CIA. Oh, okay. Darn, I missed the profit. Oh, it's, it's Prophet, y'all, so. Prophet is a very interesting I'm gonna, character. I'm not sure he has a, 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 a stick house or mortar house, uh, but he does have a bicycle. He does have a bicycle. Um, he, he, uh, so. he what? He manages, you know. Yeah, he functions. Mm -hmm. He does function. He has some very and in, very interesting stories yeah. and he hate he does hate scientology but, yes. you want to walk fun of coming out here is uh the characters the locals, right i call them the super locals. i had one dark colored car short just after i left you just about the time i got up to the corner rolled down their windows just enough to get their arms out they were going woo uh, <laughs> so i wooed back to them Oh, it's working working on those biceps and triceps, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to it. Well, I normally don't come on Tuesday, but I might come on Tuesday, just to spirit of things. the spirit of things. Yeah. I'm surprised no one else. Uh, like I 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when my stream ends, I will text you with my name so you have my number. So you won't be spam? Won't be, yeah, because I don't, I don't respond to anything that, no, that I don't know. Just yeah. Well, I just ignore any calls from numbers I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to get to work on finding out if we can have us a little weenie roast up there. You can think I'm serious, do you? I, I, I come. <laughs> I'm in. Well, I don't see, I, I can't think of any reason that would keep us from having, sitting up here with lawn chairs, at least. Well, it's private property way up into there. I know, but just, you know, out of a respectful essence to hug up all this, I think would be, you know. I went there. <laughs> I want to be up there. Okay. The only thing I, I question is the, the legalities of the open fire pit on city property. Okay, see, that could be a, that could be a plan B. Okay. okay, so I shoot for the stars right. and settle for what I can get. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh, I was going to say George. Oh, that's an idea, but you, oh, you know what? I have, um, well, I have a tool because I, all of, all of my power tools are Ryobi, which is uh, Home Depot's brand. And they're like the 18 volt batteries. Um, and I've got like, I've got one of those, like, I think it holds either six or eight. I can't remember if it's three on each side or four on each side batteries. And so I bought this thing for, for hurricanes. It's just a, it, a, one of those batteries hooks up to it and then it's got an electrical outlet. Okay. So we could do that and I could bring a ton of uh, spare batteries. Yeah. And yeah, if they say no to the fire pit, I don't see how they could have a problem with the George Foreman grill. I think, I think lawn chairs would be hysterical. I think so too. Awesome. Yeah, Family. and maybe like you put put signs on the back of our chairs or something, yeah. so we don't even have to. Clarify. Yeah. Well, I have more shirt tech coming. But, um, then blue line, hang it, my brother. Be safe. Oh no! Well, you just came down in my. You just came down on my book for that. Please don't involve your child in this place. Please don't involve your child. We're in a freaking thin blue line and taking his baby, taking his baby into that hellhole. Good God in heaven. Did, um, did Florida man actually try the door or did he just knock? He tried it and when he found it was locked. Oh, so they did lock it. Okay. Oh yeah, give me a nice view. Thank you, sir. <laughs> zoom. Oh, and the, yes, close that sucker fast. Too late. Too late. I saw the desk. I know. I know. They're so terrified. It's just like, it's like hysterical and super sad all at the same time. The fear they must have. Well, they get in trouble. I know. Yeah, I, just that. I think they really do. Like, Ruth was talking about it over the last couple of days. How they, she legit, we're, they're taught that we're evil. Like, we're, you know, we're going to hurt them. That's right. what they're taught. They, why would they think anything? It's the only thing they know. Right. So, some of these people, they're motivated by more than just not getting in trouble. They really are afraid. Mm hmm. I've noticed a lot more. Thanks, Pizza, for getting that Attorney General link out. Thank oh, you. Good. Yeah, I'm just scrolling back while I'm listening to you. Um, they're, they're going through there a lot more. 
van walking on. Is that my bus driver? Was that him that tooted? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, I think I think it was him. So when I wait, the buses they all wait down to me if they into Hey good golly, Miss M. Hope you're still here. Just scrolling back so I didn't miss anything. What was a sideways flag? I'm not certain though if that was a blue line or a green line. But he definitely fell down in my books when he wheeled his baby in there. Like a toddler. Disgusting. All right, it's uh I've been on for 86 minutes and I usually have a chat wrapping up in the car so I'll stick out here with you if you want to stay or I'm ready to head back Dr. Heather hey there's my fellow Whovian did you even tell me who your doctor is I don't think you did who is your favorite doctor 10 and 14 all the way baby 14 is 10 he came back what? Dr. Who you, you don't watch Doctor Who? Okay. Then you wouldn't know. What side of the street are you parked on? I'm in the lot. The same place as me? Okay, perfect. Well, I usually will try to park in front of one of those businesses down there that shall rename, remain nameless if I can. And then otherwise, I, I do that as well. That's nice because the car's right in front of me. But well, that's true when you don't when you, when you're not really out of sight. Uh, can we, what, can we get one more shout out for Peace Woo! Memorial Presbyterian Church for refusing to sell this awesome property to the cult of Scientology? Thank you, Peace Memorial Presbyterian Church. You rock. You should invite them to the cookout. We should. <laughs> hey, how about we uh, how about we go see the brick before we head out? Do what? I can walk a bit more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, well, I don't I forgot to wear my clothes. I'm not William. I'll, I'll fight back. I'll fight back if somebody attacks me. Man, but he's gone. right. If he were to, if he would have hit the guy, they would have 100% arrested him. I know. Just, I'm just, I, I like to come up here and walk right past their building. Yeah. No, I, I, I'd fight back. I'm already too broken. I'm not gonna just take a beating and and not not fight back. But also, you know, there are not gonna be any other repercussions otherwise. Oh, I don't really know that. I don't believe so. I mean, if they follow the law, there would be none. Are they gonna get this guy? I don't know. I, mean, I don't have a sense of them having. Hi there. Have a good evening. I said hi. Have a good evening. Okay, I guess y'all don't do manners. Oh, it's okay. I understand. You're not allowed to have manners. That's okay. We never got an answer on the tan versus blue. Oh, right. Yeah, and I don't think I have any former Scientologists in my chat right now. If I do, somebody say something, because we just want to know what the tan uh, slacks and vest stand for. See, that's why I like to walk this way instead of around the streetway. I know, all these brick would be expensive though. Man, either they're just leaving it alone or Aaron did a bang up job on it. It still looks fantastic. It still looks like it's just, just been done. I know they sprayed it with the protective. Yes. There's so, a lot of oversight. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a supervision here. Yeah, yeah, that looks, um, that looks really, really, really good. It's right here, like mm -hmm. right on the edge. Right, me edge. too. It definitely would be more noticeable if somebody did mess with it. Yeah. As opposed to way back there where yeah. in the shadows. But honestly, nobody on this campus knows who this person is. Yeah. You know, That's, you're care. probably right. They you're absolutely really right. No They'd be them. like, why would I deface something? I don't know who that is. You're right, because that was what, 95? She died in 95? That's, God bless her. 95, 05. That's not that far. It's, it's almost 
20 years. Yeah, I mean, years ago, no, five, around, right? 95, 15, no, it's almost 30 yeah. years. But, but <laughs> My around. math, and I didn't even grow up in a cult. <laughs> I know and see the thing is I haven't had math in a very very long time because I clepped out of college math so I didn't have to take math in college so I haven't had math since like the mid 70s yeah No, none of the people that are here right now were in Tampa yep. days ago. Probably, uh, a, a, a chunk of them probably weren't even born yet. Right. And I really doubt they're bringing up her name in training. Right. <laughs> Here's a lesson. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a lady we killed back in 1995. Uh, and you should know about her just in case you see her name somewhere so you can vandalize it. Yeah. And that's why... Aaron Scientology wasted. owned. Um, Aaron wasted a lot of breath on asking the Danny Masterson question because they really don't know. Yeah, I, they, they, no they, they, yeah, they, they don't. Have no idea what that is. Yep. And, I mean, maybe the publics, but definitely not the Sea Org members. But I don't think the publics are supposed to be that pop culture aware either. They're not supposed to. But be you, you don't think that they would though? Um, they would know push the, the basically push the product of somebody who is a Scientologist in the entertainment industry. No, I think they might have known who he was, but nothing about the trials and the. Oh no! Yeah, probably yeah. not. And they may have even been told and instructed, yeah. "Do not look at any news related to blah 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 blah." And you know them; they'll do what they're told because they don't <laughs> they don't want their spouse to write a KR on them. Right. Right. Or it'll come up in because auditing. Because then we'll figure things out. Exactly, exactly. Oh. I'm going to turn this way so I don't show your car. All right. Um, and I will text you when I'm right. done. But, um, and then, yeah, what time are you coming out tomorrow? Um, or do you know? Five is, five is the beginning of rush hour, so I get the right. here. It'd probably be better for my drive to... Get, at least get on the bridge before before rush hour really starts. Yeah. Okay. Well, I might I might try to come out. All right. Yeah. Good to see you. All right. Take care. Hi. How are you? Have a fantastic night. Hey, can I ask you a question? I I just want to know what the difference is between the 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 blue outfits and the tan ones. Oh, okay. Thanks anyway. Have a wonderful evening. Be safe. Hey, well, at least she pretended to be considering my... She's got a car, y'all. She's got a car. or It's a nice one. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We got to look for nails. Oh, that's literally a twig. I thought it was, where is it? I thought it was a nail, but it's not a tiny one. But I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, hot dog. How good is it to see Nora back on? Okay, we're good. We're golden. We're golden like the gates of McDonald's. Praise Jesus. Let me in. Thank you. All right. Let's get in and get settled, and then we'll, then we'll have wrap-ups. Okay, we can turn that um, flashlight off now, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Almost ready. Okay, let's turn off the gimbale. Take him off the clip. Put on a pocket socket so I have something to hold on to. And here we go in the dark, but we're turning on the light. 
Okay, let's read. Thanks y'all for coming out and joining me tonight. It always is more fun to talk to people than to talk to yourself. But that's why I have a dog and a cat, so I can talk to myself if I want to. And nobody can say I'm crazy because I'm talking to the dog. What are you talking about? I'm not talking to myself. You are doing very Excuse well me, sir. Excuse I me, sir. Say, you got there? You got Hermione's We're listening owl. to Harry Potter and we the Sorcerer's Stone. In mid the very, the very tail end. Okay. All right, back to business here. Where were we? Let me find my last place. Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Wow, I missed a lot, haven't I? Okay. Okay, back to the upside down flag. All right, I've caught up. I found my spot. And there's good golly, Miss Molly. You sure like to visit. I'm glad. Good golly. Okay, oh, Sherry, I'm sorry I missed you heading out, running out of steam. All right, have sweet dreams. We'll see you next time. Children cannot consent, Miss Ann. <laughs> Miss Molly. And there's my Doctor Who Heather. All right, I did see her. Your first doc, okay, so uh, I'll tell you my... I'll tell you how I get exposed to Doctor Who. It's a sad story. Um, several years ago, they were having, they were celebrating, celebrating their 50th anniversary. And I'd never really watched it because, you know, it was on like our PBS, which is our like children's network. And, and this is like back before cable and stuff. Um, I guess everybody has a, PBS, at least in the United States. Um, but it was very, very campy. And of course, the new Who had come out, and I'd never watched it because I'd never gotten into Doctor Who, although I watched Lost in Space, and that was pretty dang campy. I mean, they had an alien that like looked like a carrot. Um, <laughs> so anyway, my niece, one of my nieces, um, she was, uh, she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Um, she'd either just turned 30 or was just about to turn 30. She had a three-year-old daughter named Elizabeth. And, um, I'm going to guess about five-ish days after Ian was born, she had a, just a severe pain in her head, severe headache, and she just was screaming. So her husband took her to the emergency room and they had to end up transferring her to a different hospital. The, 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 it was a, a long story that will shorten a bit. She had a brain hemorrhage and she did have a long labor. Um, so I don't know if it was because of that. Um, but she slipped into a coma, had a stroke, slipped into a coma, and, and they ended up removing her from life support when every indication was that she was brain dead. So she left her husband with a three-year-old daughter and a literally six, seven-day-old baby boy. And, um, yeah, she she died at 30. Um but she was a really, really big Doctor Who fan. And so, I, and they were having all these, you know, specials on because of the 50th anniversary. And I said, you know what? Just to honor Kristen, I'm going to, I'm going to watch Doctor Who. And, um, the, the 11th Doctor, it was during his time, the 50th anniversary stuff. And I think, was that when they had an episode with 10 and 11? I don't remember for sure. But, um, I got hooked. So, you know, anytime I watch an especially amazing episode of Doctor Who, I just look up and say, thanks, Kristen. Because that's kind of, that was her parting gift to me. It's just Doctor Who, and it's just one of my favorite fandoms. So, yeah, she, uh, she passed it on to me. 
First time here from Boston, Santiago. Thank you for being here. Capaldi is definitely underrated. And I like to, and he's the only doctor I've ever met in person. So, um, yeah, I go to cons to meet my doctors when I can. I, I've got a picture that I'll never show because I was significantly heavier than, than I am now. But I have a picture with um, John Barrowman, that Captain Jack Harkness. And we're just literally grabbing each other's butts. I love that guy. He's like my gay boyfriend. He's pretty awesome. Um, but oh man, the the recent specials with with Tennant. Oh, first off, I was just so happy to see him again, especially the way he regenerated. It was so sad when he says, "I don't want to go." I don't know, it's just like, I ball every time I see it. So I just loved the way they left things with him. It was like when his first time he left, it was just so heart-wrenching. And then this time when he at least parted from the show as we know it, it was so, it was so hopeful. And I love that. I love that. And his wife, I don't know, and if the, those, I hope I'm not boring you that are not Doctor Who fans. But David Tennant's wife is the da the daughter of Peter Davidson, who is the fifth doctor, I think. Somewhere in there. He was the old who, so I never watched it. So it's, I don't remember if it's her Twitter or Instagram, but one of them said, it, it used to say, um, daughter of five, whichever one it is, wife of ten. And then after he came back for these specials, she changed it to, um... Girlfriend of 14, daughter of five or whatever, um, wife of, no, I'm sorry, girlfriend of 10, daughter of five, wife of 14. I just think that's so cute. So that's my Doctor Who story, and I'm sticking to it. Rest in peace, Lisa. I'm no sciento, says 420 girl, but Austin is wearing goldish vests for the golden age of sciento. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, you graduated in 95. Okay. I graduated in 80. That means I was like 15 when you were born. Yep, let it be known. Lisa McPherson was held inside the Fort Harrison building with no medical attention. She died of, like, dehydration and whatever else is going on with her. Well, I thought we had somebody who might tell us, but she wasn't willing to spill the beans. Oh, almost put somebody in timeout accidentally. Just because I'm trying to scroll. Yeah, but she hers was blue in the front. It was just tan in the back. So I'm not quite sure what that was all about. No nails tonight. No nails tonight. <laughs> I talk to my car. It's a good car. Hi ho silver. My car's name is Hi ho silver. Hi ho silver away. Christy, thank you. Thanks for being here, Auntie. Um, hope you had your share of. I always have fun. Well, I do always have fun. Sometimes I always. Uh, sometimes I also have sort of. Um, some uh, emotional roller coastering, but I do try to always have some fun going on. You know what? I started Jenna's audiobook pizza, and I had sidetracked somehow, and I need to go back to it. I love that they, you know, Jenna doesn't narrate her own book, but the narrator sounds so much like Jenna that you can just kind of pretend it's Jenna. Good golly, enjoys my antics. 
Isn't that sweet? Pizza has Aaron been on at all today? I feel like my my mod skills are dropping some. Doctor Who is the best kind of campy at times. Yeah, that's true. I do now that I'm, you know, I'm I'm in it to win it. I uh I do like the war doctor. I love John Hurt anyway. He's just so good. Um I need to go back and like try to watch. At least at least um Tom's stuff because i mean he's just so many people's favorites oh thanks y'all for your your words about Kristen. berman is he's so funny and i love to listen to him sing too i i enjoyed torchwood a lot of course, by then, he was my gay boyfriend, and I sort of had to watch. You haven't watched since Capaldi? Um, 13, took, 13 took me a bit of time to get used to. Um, and I finally did. It still is, is different. Is she related to Victoria Tennant? Well, Tennant, I don't think, I don't think she, I don't, I think she kept her. Oh, no, she did take Tennant on. Her name is Georgia. Um, but she, if so, it would be David she would be related to because Tennant is her married name. If you're talking about David's wife, unless I miss something. Sorry, I just always try to catch up on chat before I end. But we keep chatting, so it's just an ongoing thing. Have you ever come to Atlanta for DragonCon? No, but I, you know, I have my, I'm, one of my brothers lives not even an hour south of Atlanta. I probably should, although I probably would get a hotel in the city, at the facility or, you know, it's the, the con hotel, where, where, wherever it is. I would probably do that. And then I just stay a few days on one side or the other to my brothers. Um, somebody, I don't think it was you, Pat. I don't remember who it was. Uh, but I probably will do this. Somebody wanted me to do um, a drive. A drive just from Fort Harrison to, uh, to Morton Plant. Because I guess that would be the closest hospital. But they passed the closest hospital to take her to a place where they knew of a Scientology doctor. And she died. Disgusting. And nobody paid for that. And David Miscavige was overseeing her case personally. He was having all of her stuff brought to him to review. He should be in prison for her murder. But anyway, I will do that. And and I, I want to... Um, I you know yeah, it took me a while to to get on the Jody train, but I did end up liking her. Oh, that's right. Oh, I should I should go to Aaron's house and crash it. See if if Andrew's there. I'm sure they will do something in his studio while he's here. I'm gonna as soon as I end. Oh, I'm gonna text. Where's my, where's my real phone? I'm going to text Aaron right now. I'm going to ask him if, if Andrew's at his house and if I could come over. <laughs> come on. Take my passcode, dude. Oh, I don't want to do it where getting cameras could see. I don't think they have cameras here, but. Got to be careful. There. Okay. Scrolling, scrolling. Aaron, I'm texting. Bruh! Exclamation mark. Is Andrew Gold still at your house? Question mark. And if so, can I come over? Question mark. I'll just do a meet and greet and leave. Exclamation mark. Smiley face. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh. There. No, no sooner had hush. I reached London hush. Than it became clear to me. That this was the place I should be. I know all the lines. Anyway, if Andrew's there and he says I can come over, I'll just keep live streaming. Oh, he's in Miami now. Dang it. Dang it, all to heck. Exclamation mark. LOL. Oh, it doesn't know Southern talk. It's struggling with all to heck. Oh, dang it. Well, I'm glad you got to meet him. Well, I'm glad you got to meet him. It sucks. Glad you got to meet him. Period. Talk later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, wouldn't that have been funny, though? That would have been so funny just to show up at Aaron's house live stream. Come on, Dumbledore! Stop it! I arrived just in time. Every time I do something with my phone, it reconnects to the car. So, anyway, okay. <laughs> it was just an idea. I do stuff like this. I'm going to head out so I can um, head across the bridge and see what's going on at the LA Testing Center only by listening while I drive home. Uh, again, thanks everybody for being here. Appreciate you all so much. And um, if I don't come out tomorrow, I will for sure be here, here Wednesday. Um, now, I, I may be going out of town this week. Um, I have another brother in South Carolina, which is, his house is only like two hours away from one of the tiny house builders I'm considering. And I kind of want to go up there and and walk through some of their tiny houses and see what I think of them live and in person. Because I'm going to sell my house and buy a tiny house and buy some property. Anyway, um, but I'll let you know what I what I decide to do. And if I, if I were to go out of town before my next regular time to show up out here, I'll, I'll do a community post or something. I'll let you know. Um, but I did have fun and I hope you um, enjoyed it in some fashion tonight. Um, do you have to buy land before getting a tiny house? I It would probably take at least three months to build a tiny house. And I like to think I could build some land in that time. Otherwise, I would just have to rent a, rent a spot to put it in the meanwhile. But I'm going to have to rent an apartment while all this happens. Because I need the money from the, the sale of my house um, to do all that. Uh, when you got your first car and that... When you when you first got in the car and that talking started, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I um I use my secondary phone now to stream in the event that something were to happen. Um, I'm not losing my primary phone that's an Apple i uh 15 Pro. This one that I've been using to stream since I got it is just a regular 14, not Pro. Um, and I don't really see any difference in quality, so I'll probably keep doing it this way. Anyway, um, thanks again for being here. I appreciate all you guys. And it's been fun kind of doing some extra stuff the last couple of days. Uh, I did the podcast with Nana Boss. If you haven't seen that, uh, it's on my channel too. And um, Natalie did a piece, a little snippet from that on her show this morning. And she had me come on and talk about... Um, the little fupa from Chicago PD about their supposed 15-foot ordinance. Um, when I was trying to help out Frizinu Project with some, some uh, Google lookups to get down to the bottom of that. And we did. So anyway, that was kind of fun to do that extra stuff. Uh, probably maybe we'll f maybe think about doing more of that kind of stuff it's from home. Anyway, everybody... Have a fantastic rest of your night, and uh, until we meet again, peace, love you, bye.